Hey, it's Mike for Sim Racing 604 with just a quick video on helping you get your Moza racing wheels configured. Uh, I've got my KS wheel here and I've got my R12 base here. You can use any base, doesn't matter. Uh, the functionality is actually tied to the wheel. So if I put this onto my R12 base, give it a second, it's going to go through its fancy configuration mode. And then as you can see, I've got all my colors pre-configured. What I can do is this stick over here and then this stick over here can be used to configure the colors. So if you press them both toward the inside, so take the left stick here, press it toward the inside, take the right stick here, press it toward the inside, hold it for about two seconds, and this will start to flash. The tachometer bar will start to flash. So uh, what I can do now is every time I press a button, it is going to change colors. And that goes for all the buttons on the wheel. And then when you're done configuring your colors, Press them to the inside again until it flashes, and then you're out of config mode, and your colors are back to being static. And for the GS wheel, we can take it, plug it into our wheelbase. It's going to go through its config mode for just a couple of seconds. Once it's settled down, uh, we take this dial here, this dial here, press them in. Tachometer bar flashing. While it's flashing, Every time I press a button, sometimes it's a bit finicky. I give it like a two pause and then I can press these buttons and change their colors. Hopefully that's coming through on the video, but every time I press a button now, again, sometimes it's a bit finicky, but uh, about after two seconds, it should be able to be pressed and change colors. Subscribe to Sim Racing 604. And then release and it goes back to its normal mode. And lastly, we have the FSR wheel. So plug it in, let us go, let it go into its config mode. Just takes a few seconds. And then same thing as the GS wheel, these two dials here, hold them in until it flashes. And then as you'd expect, we can change the button colors. Okay, and then when we're done that, release and it goes back to static mode, but we can also change what is displayed on the screen. So if I just hold down these, the clutch paddles in the back, hold down both of them. So you want to do this before you start racing, obviously, and then use this right joystick here. I can cycle through the various screens. So again, that can be done mid race if you wish, but uh, just make sure you're in the pit or something while you do it. So that is some of the sort of lesser known features of your Moza wheel.